it's 7 50 in the morning this is the western terminus of the california riding and hiking trail at the black rock canyon campground probably got down to 32 last night let's head into the sun on another hike mile five about an hour and a half, two hours into it, just taking a breakfast break. Where I'm going, how to do about 15 to 16 miles today. This is the trail, about seven and a half miles into it. <clears throat> the first five and a half miles of the trail, uh, are going up a sandy wash so you lose so much energy in every step i was getting like 20 minute miles there now i'm doing about 16 minute miles it's definitely a lot easier and quicker trail's been easy to follow mile markers every mile obviously headed to the upper covington flat backcountry registration board keep on heading towards quail mountain Now in this area, I've got good pack sand, and then you drop down to these wash crossings and you've got some deep stuff, but definitely beats the first five and a half miles. This is the trail from about the 11 mile marker. This came this overlook, you can see the Salton Sea. cross around the back side of Coil Mountain to get to camp. Mile marker 13. Whoa! That is Quail Mountain. All done with the uphill for today. That right there is Ryan Mountain. I'll be <clears throat> camping near there this evening. I've got uh, six liters of water waiting for me underneath a cactus out there. That'll be tasty. Morning, day two. The sun's just breaking. A 
be able to lose these long johns here shortly. It is 6.58. Getting stuff broken down. Hopefully go about another 16 miles a day. Just left <clears throat> camp one, day two, headed to my six liters of water. I have about two and a half miles away from here. That'll be good. This is about 19 and a half miles to go on the trail. This is one of the neatest views so far. The cliffs on Ryan Mountain. And all the rock formations out across the Californian Serengeti. Should have some water stashed over here. I can see the reflection. Please be okay. Nice. Live in the Ryan Mountain campground. <clears throat> the trail goes right through there, so I threw away some of my trash. the back side of Ryan Mountain. From where I came. We got 13 miles left to go to the north entrance of the park. Then another nine miles of road walking to get back to my truck after that. But that is Ryan Mountain. I came around the back side of that. Right through there. And I crossed up through this valley. There was probably a good three quarters of a mile of super soft sand. I've got another water drop in a mile and a half to pick up. I'm trying to consciously drink more water today. I don't think I got enough in me yesterday. I should have 
two more three liters of water stashed right over here. I'll probably end up taking maybe a liter and a half out of each bottle and coming back and picking these up tomorrow. I don't need all this water. Hola, mi amigos. I have to hike around the south side of that next. That is uh, Chariot's View or something like that. Then there is Jumbo Rocks. The Geology Tour Road backcountry registration is just right there. So it'll be easy for me to pick this stuff up tomorrow. I'm probably going to hike another two miles, set up camp, take her sleazy. Because I can't backcountry camp anywhere between there and the end of the trail. About ten and a half miles to go to the north entrance. I was looking out into the Pinto Basin. There is this huge and wide open. I have to camp no closer than about a mile from that mountain. That's where the day use area begins. Here's my camp too. Set up a mile away from the Pinto Basin Road. And out there in the distance is Pinto Basin. That area is 3,000 feet below where I'm at right now. I'm at 4,000. That is at 1,000. For tomorrow, I hike to the... <clears throat> foot of that mountain right there and basically just parallel it. camped way out there last night on that ridge got six more miles to go to the road I was gonna get up at 2 30 this morning and do some night hiking that would have been sweet with the clouds and stars but I didn't wake up So I've got six miles to go to the road, then four and a half miles to road walk to the 29 Palms bus, an hour bus ride, then another four and a half mile road walk to my truck. I was just wondering what all these were. I just, they're the desert tortoise eggs. They're all over the place. into the road. Out there is 29 Palms and the 29 Palms Marine Base. That's where I'm headed.
leaving Joshua Tree. Almost done road walking. Made it back to Black Rock Canyon Campground. There is a Z truck. And right there is the biodome. Well, I finished the hike, got a motel last night in 29 Palms, took a shower, had a pizza, had some beer. Now I came back to my second water cache to pick up what I left out here. I've got uh, two one and a half liter bottles out here I need to pick up. There's my water. It's like all those footprints I made in the sand might be getting washed away today. It's cold. Right on, right on.